our main event to the stage. Two undefeated fighters on the line, the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. One takes home the strap, one takes home an L tomorrow night. First away in the challenger. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, 27 victories, no losses on his record. 18 KOs, the former WBA interim super lightweight champion of the world, Jose Benavides Jr. on the scale. One hundred forty-five pounds, one four five. The official weight for the undefeated challenger. Weighing in, ladies and gentlemen, former lightweight champion, undisputed super lightweight champion, defending his WBO welterweight title, Terrence Good Crawford. 145.4 pounds, 145.4 for the defending world champion from Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> All right, so no problem for either fighter making weight. Tim, Terrence Crawford is five foot eight. Benavidez is six feet tall. Yeah. What impact could the height advantage play in this fight? It's really no impact. I think I think Terrence can fight well any any position inside. You know, all three ranges: inside, mid distance range, and the outside. He is the shorter man, but he has the longer reach in this. Terrence will definitely have to go down to the body of Benavidez. You know, to be effective, I believe, in this fight. Andre, how does a fighter like Benavidez control his emotions in what's been a very emotional week? Oh! 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 Thanks to Heaton. The fight started early. No, he early. hit him. The fight started early. He hit him. The fight started early. And look at the police. The police move in right away. They had extra security for this, for this way in. TV, what do you make of that? Wow. What do I make of? You know what? My emotions are flying. Both these guys have been talking trash. Both these guys have been real intense this whole lead up to this fight. And being close to face to face like that, man, they should have had somebody that was between them, you know, to, se to separate these two guys. So they ready and ready to fight tomorrow. Yeah, that right there tells me that the bad blood is real. Yeah. It's not just talk. It's real. Let's see what happened right here. Oh, he rolled with it. Good early defense from Benavidez. <laughs> he got out the way. That wouldn't have been good if Terrence connected with that with no gloves on. Wow. It just shows you that the dislike and the bad blood is real. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't connect. We still got to fight tomorrow yeah. night. It's time for these guys to get it on. Does that surprise you that a fighter with Terrence Crawford's skill and background would do something like that or no. win? Not, yeah. not really because it depends on what it depends on what Benavidez said. You know, you got to realize this guy's been eating, sleeping, and drinking you for the last eight weeks. Um, he doesn't have a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of time and energy for any nonsense, and he wants to let Benavidez know, Terrence Crawford, that I'm not going to take any mess. Well, let's hear what he has to say. Bernardo Asuna, take it away. I didn't touch him. All right, Terrence, you had been enjoying the moment and seemed like you were relishing the moment here of your first title defense at 147. Walk us through exactly what happened in the face-off. We saw a push, we saw a swing. What happened? They've been telling me to be cool all week. I've been cool. I've been keeping it professional. And he pushed me. And what'd you do? You seen what I did. All right. Now, we know that he's been talking a lot of smack. We know the animosity is real. We've seen you punish guys who talk. What do you expect to do to Jose Benavides tomorrow night? Same thing everybody else got. You know, when you look at what's happened throughout the week, one of the things that he said is, I don't see anything special in Terrence Crawford. What do you think about that? They all say that. They all say that until they step foot in the ring with me. All right. Did you lose your cool today, or is it all part of what's going on? I'm cool. I just can't wait to fight tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much. Bernardo, maybe a harbinger of things to come. Oh. <laughs> and again, you know, he Crawford was the one who was pushed, Andre, but. But to let your emotions spill over, knowing what's at stake tomorrow night, that, that had to be a little surprising. Not really. I'm not condoning anybody fighting before the fight or what we saw in the UFC after the fight. I don't think it's necessary. But at the same time, 
You can't put your hands on another man That's and right. not expect a reaction. That's Every right. action deserves a reaction, and we saw the reaction that Terrence Crawford just had. Well, for me, I think I think right there, that's exactly what Benavides was looking for. Terrence to come out flaming. He pushed him for a reason. He wanted to get a response from him. You saw the response from Terrence Crawford. He wants Terrence Crawford to be aggressive, to sit there and exchange with him so it can better his chances in landing something and hurting Terrence Crawford in the fight. Crawford maintains that Benavidez has not gotten under his skin. Bernardo? All right. Jose, you pushed him. He swung. What does it say about the mindset for both of you guys at this stage of the fight? I'm in his head. I'm in his head. And I hope he swings faster than what he swung today because I seen that punch coming a mile away. And I hope he puts more power into that too because that was a bitch punch he threw. Well, all right. So this is the fight you've been expecting. This is a fight you've been dreaming of. How are you going to keep your emotions in check after what happened? I'm ready for anything that comes my way. I'm ready. I'm not going to let their team get in my head. You know, I got a game plan. I know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take him out tomorrow. One of the things you've said throughout this week is, I don't see anything special in Terrence Crawford. Special. How do you avoid, though, becoming overconfident? It's not overconfidence. You know, I have confidence in myself, and I'm going to do what I have to do tomorrow, and I'm going to be victorious tomorrow. All right, thank you for your time. All right, we've seen a lot of things happen in the weigh-in. Today we saw a push and a punch. Yeah, expect the unexpected uh, when it comes to prize fighting. Terrence Crawford telling us the whole fight is going to be on my terms. Jose Benavidez saying, I know I can't let this fight go the distance. I need to knock him out. We are fighting in his hometown. Again, this just moments ago when the two fighters got set to face off for the customary pictures, the snapshots being taken. Benavidez shoving mm. Crawford. Crawford attempting to retaliate with a right cross that did not land, fortunately. And again, if you think that we've been making up any of this bad blood, you just saw it play out.